guests are revolting here at Terror Towers. <laughs> some of Uncle Salem's old stuff down in the cellar. <gasps> Uncle Salem? But he's been dead 300 years. Well, he won't mind us having a look for his things then, will he? <laughs> so, what's in that bag, Master? Ah, Uncle Salem's old winter clothes. And pray tell, what's in that bag? Ah, Uncle Salem's old summer clothes. And what on earth is in that one? Uncle Salem. <laughs> ah, here's our guess have arrived, Boris. Who are our adolescent visitors this week? Here's the door-creaking green team, communing with ghosts, ghouls and poltergeists. Are the orange team a gaggle of lily-livered scaredy cats? Let Terror Towers decide. <laughs> well, show them in, Boris. Let's see if they can survive Terror Towers, the house that bites back. <laughs> Terrors. We have some very haunted rooms, and inside each room our guests are set a terrible task. If they complete that task, they will be awarded some of these. <coughs> eyeballs. The team with the most eyeballs at the end will play for prizes in the stinky sink. And, ah, here they are now, my little hors d'oeuvres. That is, apart from the two that have been detained by Boris down in the dingy dungeons. <coughs> We've been wailing and gnashing of teeth, yeah. All they have to do is escape from the dingy dungeons. <laughs> First one to pull the lever at the end wins their team an eyeball. Are you ready? Go! trip to the dingy dungeons oranges what a surprise greens what a shock well which is going to be our first team into a haunted room well i've got some nerve-wracking questions if you think you know the answer tap your team's skull if the answer is correct a part of your skull will light up but if the answer is wrong i'll pass that question over to the other team the first team to completely light up their skulls will open the door to the first haunted room. So take a good look around this hall and remember what you see in here. A bottle of bat repellent to be splashed on instead of washing. It comes in three colours, sludge, brown and green. You can buy it for £2.55 from Nasties of Norwich. This glass is where Great Grandma Johnson keeps her eyeballs, all six of them. She pops them in at 10.40 every night and pops them back in their sockets at 7.30 in the morning. These revolting, smelling eggs are 210 days old. They're for tomorrow's breakfast, and we get them nice and stale from a farmer in Norway. Uncle Rover bit this cup when he was hungry on Friday. He hadn't eaten since November. He won't have another snack till June. He's a very thin man. Hands on skulls. Are you ready? 
What does Grandma Johnson keep in the glass? Green. Green? Her eyeballs. Correct. How old are the eggs? Orange. Orange. 100 days. No, you're wrong. Greens, do you know? 210. Correct. Two bits of the skull. When was the last time Rover ate before Friday? Green. Green? November. Correct. Three bits of your skulls. Come on, orange. What can you splash on instead of washing? Green. Green again. Better balance. Better balance. Better balance. Better propellant. Correct! <laughs> You've just opened up the door to the first haunted room. Inside that room, there is a terrible task. If you complete that task, you will be awarded two eyeballs. But if you fail, those eyeballs will go to the other team. So the choice is yours. Are you going to go in there and take on that task? Or are you going to send them in? Take it. <gasps> The Shrinking Room. Come on! Yahoo! Ghostly Aunt Gertrude here. Just look at this lot behind me. You see, we've just had another delivery from Egypt. Egyptian mummies. Unfortunately, their bodies are still in pieces in some of those packing crates. The little dears have two minutes to find the pieces and build three mummies. But watch out for the waffles. <laughs> Whoops. There they come. Must fly. Twiddle pip. Come on. This is a three-player task. you got two minutes starting from now. for mummy number three's head. But those grim and garish greens have won themselves two eyeballs, making the score two one to the greens. Oh. oh, it's lovely to see you here. Now, which one of you is going to open up a door to another haunted room? Well, I have the nerve-wracking questions, so please be careful. Oops, don't look now, but there appears to be a toilet roll at the window. A toilet roll, unused since 1962. A bunch of keys to a load of lost locks. A bell to summon Mr. Grunge, the gardener. A shopping basket to keep my dirty washing in. 
a ball of string that Boris keeps under his bed. A poker used to stoke the fridge at Terror Towers. A cushion from the garden shed. A hairdryer that was bought in Lincolnshire. Hands on skulls. Ready? What colour was the toilet roll? Green. Green. White. White. White is correct. What was the second object? Orange. Orange. Keys. Correct. One bit of the skull each. What pattern was on the shopping basket? Orange. Orange. Red and orange. Red, red and white checks. Correct. What colour was the cushion? Green. Green. Pink. pink. Green. It wasn't pink. Green. Do you know green. orange? Green. green. Green is correct. We've got three bits of your skull lit up. Ooh, exciting. What was the first object? Green. Green? The toilet roll. It's correct. You're catching up two bits of your skull. What object came after the bunch of keys? Green. Green? I need an answer, Green. The string. Was it? it wasn't the string, actually. Oranges, do you know? I need an answer. Cushion? No, it wasn't a cushion. It was a bell. What was the bell's handle made out of? Orange. Orange. Wood. Correct. Whoa, you've just opened up the door to another haunted room. Inside that room, there is a task that is worth two eyeballs. Now, are you going to go in there and take on that task, or are you going to send them in? Take it. Oh. Well, follow me, too! Boris's tower. Come on! Another terrible task in Boris's tower. My mate Norris has been hanging around the tower trying to spin his webs. Unfortunately, he's not very good at it, and he's left a terrible mess down there. There's spider thread lying around everywhere. What our little guests have to do is clear it all up. They've got two minutes to wrap up all of Norris's silky white thread around his spidery body when he drops in. Right, in you go. This is a two-player task. Down there, down there. You've got two minutes to sort all this out, starting from now. What have they got to do? What have they got to do? This one's tied them up in knots. All the ones at the bottom, quick! <laughs> oh, I love spaghetti, and there's more than enough in there for me and Norris. Those oranges got themselves tied in a multitude of knots, and so the greens have another two eyeballs. The score is now four to the greens, and still only one to the oranges. I wonder what spaghetti's like with orange sauce. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Underneath this tempting trapdoor are the creepy corridors. You two have been selected by your team to enter this creepy maze blindfolded. <laughs> your only way out is through the green gate, and your only way out is through the orange gate. The first to find their way out wins three eyeballs for their team. So, put your blindfolds on, listen out to your teammates, they're trying to guide you, and in you go. Time, I'm gonna eat my leg. Raise the green gate. what I call masterful yelling from the greens there. And sure enough, the green in the maze walked free as air and got three more eyeballs. So what's the score now? Green seven, oranges uh, only one. Oh, soon we'll be going to my favourite room, but will it decide who's going to go and play for prizes in the stinky sink? Well, let's have a look at my ghostly gallery. And remember, things aren't quite what they see. 100 grams of jelly babies containing six blue ones, four red ones, three yellow ones, and only one white one. A grass snake that was found under the sink on Wednesday by Mrs. Gould, the cook. It had been there for three days and measured 42 centimetres. A bandage that was used by Mr. Grunge, the gardener, to bandage the middle two fingers of his left hand, which he hurt on Thursday. It is 80 centimetres long. A jumper that I wore when I was 12. It has blue sleeves, a green body, and red cuffs. It is size 34. Hands on skulls. You ready? Which fingers did grunge hurt? Green. green. The middle two fingers of his left hand. Correct. What colour was the toy car? Green. Green again? Yellow. Correct. Two bits of the skull. Hmm. Oranges. How many white jelly babies were there? Orange. Orange. One. Correct. What was the last object that you saw? Green. Green? Flowers. Correct. Three bits of the skull to one. What age did I wear my jumper? Green. Twelve. Correct. <laughs> Whoa, you have just opened up the door to the last haunted room. Inside that room, there is a task that is worth four eyeballs. Are you Take gonna... it. You are. Oh. Well, follow me too. The nightmare room. Come on. Let me through. You don't want to get lost down here. <laughs> Hello. I'm Glad's the name. Another torturous treat in store for the little blighters. <laughs> All they have to do is serve breakfast. And what's for breakfast? Eyeballs, of course. <laughs> they must use these big spoons to scoop up the eyeballs and plop them into egg cups. Or should I say eye cups? <laughs> they have two minutes to fill all four cups, and that's if they can stay on their feet. Watch out, here they come. Must be all. <laughs> Welcome to Johnson's Lair. In you go. Down, down, down. Now, this is a three-player task. You've got two minutes starting from now. <laughs> One each. Oh, 
don't scoop until you can see the whites of their eyes. Uh, I don't want it. It's supposed to go in there. I hope I don't get a nosebleed. have won themselves four more eyeballs and that means they win with a grand total of 11. Well, 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 our green team. I thought I was at Wimbledon watching mixed doubles. You're going to go and play for prizes in the stinky sink. But our orange team, the losers, will you get yourselves a Boris baddie bag packed full of wonderful things? A creepy can containing six bone-chilling books, five creepy crawlies and a monstrous poster, also a pair of spooky eyes, and a luminous Terror Towers t-shirt, a murky mug with a life of its own, and a puzzle and a pen. Ooh. What lovely smiles. But if I were you, I'd get out whilst you can. <laughs> Oh, 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 no, oh, horrible. You lot, follow me too. The stinky sink. Come on in, come on in. Get over there. It's horrible, it's smelly, it's disgusting. This is the stinky sink. It was built over a hundred years ago by my great great granddad, Ebenezer Johnson, to wash his face in. And here it is. Well, what's left of it? Your task is to find the rest of his skeleton and piece it back together. Just like that. A fine figure of bones he is. And please remember, the more bones you build, the more prizes you get. But watch out for the sloppy sewage. You've got 60 seconds, starting from now. Quick, get the whip cage. Whip cage, come on. The whip cage. Get to the... You managed to get five pieces in the correct order, so here are your wonderful prizes. They've each won a sports bag with tennis racket, six tennis balls, squash racket and two squash balls, and a table tennis set with bats, balls and net. A pair of inline skates with ski-style buckle and high-specification wheels, with a complete set of super safety equipment and flashing nightlight. A full-function CD radio cassette player with extra bass and level control and 40 watts of power. Oh! Yes! Yeah! Yes, great, Boris, but uh, I've got the best prize of all. You get to remain guests here at Terra Towers forever. <laughs>
Neil Buchanan leads the chase. Seek, and you shall find tomorrow at 20 to 5. And there's a race against the clock in Treasure Island. Can the poison's antidote be found in time? Budgie, the little chiropractor, receives a distress signal. And what sort of a Tuesday would it be without a twinkle? Bye for now. Trish Williamson is in the chair for this afternoon's After Five, coming up next. Working hard, keep pushing myself. <laughs> Once more, Tony. Closer. That's it. <laughs> Let's see if you're any good. <laughs> Go on, tiger. I have the I am the tiger. Whoa. Well, yeah. Now let's catch some breakfast. Make Kellogg's Frosties part of your nutritious breakfast. All right. Kellogg's Frosties. They're great. Yo, Granny, I'm CC Chopper, the lollipop rapper, and I'm here to tell you about mm, Chopper Chops, the great tasting world's number one lollipop. Go sweet crazy about the ice cream. Fruit and super sour flavors, it's Chopper yeah. Chops for crucial chops. Oh. Chopper Chops, sweet bread. Can't see any holeless hula hoops. But there's some very interesting things happening on a sofa in Stevenage. With the air, you have to breathe. The food, you have to eat. If you get ill, will you get well soon? Are you getting the latest news on the latest treatments? We all need to get the best for our families. So, get switched on to our new series on Carlton. Get a line. We'll get to talking tonight at 7 o'clock. That's a brand new series starting later. Now, though, at ten past five, it's after five. Trisha Williamson, Mary Nightingale is with the England rugby squad in South Africa, so it's up to me to welcome you to After Five. Stay with us as we get the inside story on the society marriage that everyone's talking about, the match of course between Imran Khan and Jemima Goldsmith. And here's a look at what else we've lined up. Lost photographs.